Well, a real highlight of today's Racing Together Masterclass was a contribution from Leeds Rhinos and uh, the Leeds Rhinos Foundation. And we have uh, both Laura and Dan here with us and uh, you gave an excellent presentation. Firstly, wh what did you make of the day? Uh, yeah, thank you for inviting us, first of all. I, I think it was an excellent day for us showcasing some of, some of the work that we do uh, and hopefully passing on some knowledge, um, listening to some of the partnerships that are already existing and hopefully building on that. Um, the race courses are some fantastic projects. We heard from the Take the Reins project, which is a fantastic initiative that hopefully more um, race courses um, will, will, will sort of take note of it and hopefully help, help grow um, and get them deeper into, into the racing industry. And you've shown the great potential with your, your brand and being supported by your club for community engagement. Do you see that same potential for horse racing? Absolutely. I think the whole um, ethos, ethos of horse racing, again, um, just like Rugby League, is, is built around communities. You come to the racing. It's a family environment. Um, I think, again, we demonstrate how our culture ethos um, at the Rhinos can, can reach out into the community and vice versa, communities coming into race courses. So I don't see why that can't be replicated. Excellent. Now, Laura, you spoke a lot about the, the health agenda and all the work you do with the foundation there. Yeah. Um, there was a great reaction from, from all our delegates from race courses ar around the country. Again, do you see that can be replicated in racing? Yeah, absolutely. And I think as we were speaking about, um, our stadium in Headley is quite an iconic venue and race courses are such an integral part to local communities. People in local communities want to work and, and come down to local race courses. They're very iconic. They've got lots of memories and happy experiences of coming down here. And I think um, being healthy environments and working towards that healthcare agenda is something that is really quite easily replicated. And there's a lot of good work already going on from talking to people today. So really good. And you rely a lot on, on, the, on the brand and that, yeah. and that reputation to, to get people um, connected um, yeah. to, to the foundation mm -hmm. and, and sponsors and, and funding as well. Again, do, do you see the, a path that racing can take? Yeah, absolutely. Like our brand is something that's integral to the people that support our club and they really buy into the club and, and the everything we stand for. And I think it's something very similar in racing. There's a positive association with coming down to the races. And like Dan just referenced, it's a very family friendly environment. And that's something that's really um, important to be harnessed. And I think it's really integral. I think it's positive moving forward. Excellent. Now, Dan, players are such an important um, link to the foundation and to get the backing of the, of the players. We saw it in the film that you you showed us all earlier. That, that's such a, a real ringing endorsement, isn't it? And again, I guess in, in, in racing, a different sort of sport in terms of loyalty. Uh, yeah. but, but would you see a place for, for jockeys, for example, doing similar? Absolutely. I think that in any sport, young people in particular need role model, role models, somebody to, to aspire to, whether that's to become a professional athlete and follow the elite route themselves, or whether it's to work in, in that industry, in that environment. I think there can be role models at all different levels. I don't see why jockeys can't get involved. Had a good chat with uh, George Channel uh, now, who's uh, working at Pontefract Racecourse, the former yes, jockey. Yeah. Um, some of the some of the work he's looking to get involved in, particularly around the mental health side of work and the you know projects there. Obviously, he's had to um, come away from racing due to injury. So I think there's a lot that j existing jockeys and ex-jockeys can put uh, back into the community in terms of their experience.